Hey, what about you guys? I did the name second heat. And let me just put this up a little. What up? Uh, I just got home and I brought, I bought something from GameStop. Now, what did I buy? I hope it's facing the right direction. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Haha, uh -huh, it was. I bought me some Skull Candy Slayers. Now, I have heard some things about these. I have heard. Let's put this a little down so you can see it more. Now, I have heard that these are um, some pretty good headsets. Uh, I got these for $80 and. No? I wonder how this is going to. I wonder how this is gonna be. Uh, there's a likely chance that I might be putting up a second video um, of me kind of like testing it out because what I wanted to do today was do a face cam commentary on uh, face cam live commentary on the map met. I mean, on the game Metro. Uh, for those guys that do not know, uh, PlayStation Plus users got Metro for free, and I want to do a Let's Play on that with a face cam. And I think this will be pretty good to um, test it out on. So, uh, I think I probably needed some suits. I probably should have came prepared. Uh, let's see if I could get it with my pencil, or maybe just use my scissors. I, wait, it's tape. Why am I trying to... Be complicated with tape. I am so stupid. Screw it. Using scissors. I don't care. I don't even care anymore. Uh, uh, eh. Alright. There we go. Tape ain't got nothing on me. Put that down. I do not think... Ah, uh, yep. There is another... Ah, uh, damn. I just had to throw it all over there. Where's my other scissors? Damn it! Wait, no, here it is. Yay! Did not have to do much work. Alright, uh... See if I can... Oh, no, I do not want to damage the box. Because this is a awesome looking box, if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, and for those of you guys that do not know, um, the previous headsets I had, my Tritons, I kind of was foolish with them, and may have broken the string off while playing a game of Ninja. Uh, there will hopefully be a video of that on my boy QK Production. Uh, for those of you guys that do not know, he is my ninja friend, and I gave him a shout-out yesterday, and I'm giving him another shout-out today because he is an awesome guy. He's one of my best friends, and he's basically my ninja rival. For those of you guys that have not um, been with me for months ago, uh, then you probably would not know, but I've actually posted a couple of... YouTube videos of, you know, Ninja, uh, had a judo series, well, a three-episode, uh, judo series with basically me and a lot of friends, how we were just messing around in the judo room, and he was one of them, and, uh, he's a pretty cool guy, he's known as the Ninja at my school, so we were playing a game of Ninja, and for those guys that do not know, it's hard to explain, but it's mainly a one a one move per turn match where it's, the goal is to basically slap the other dude's hands and it can be pretty intense if you know what you're doing and so yeah basically i had one wrong swipe and i may have really disconnected my headset with the wire i'll actually show you right now because i still for some reason i still keep my headsets even though they may be broken so be right back. I'm going to show you the damages I did to my Tritons. It's pretty bad. One moment. Hello? Wrong one. Those are my Sennheisers. Look how... Wait. Yeah. Right here. Look how badly I screwed that up. I don't know how I... I cannot believe I put that much force. I put that much force into breaking my stuff. Now, let's get off that topic and get back to the true topic, the the Skull Candy Slayers. Now, I had already successfully opened the stuff or the box, and oh, that's a pretty fancy opening. All right. Now, this. 
I'm not too sure of the specs. Uh, uh, we got so much easy stuff. Do not feel like reading. I'm not a reader. I am. I am not a reader. I'm not sure. Maybe I should probably put this up a little more so you can see my face. And I do not feel like killing struggling to put my head down. I look a little foolish with that. Now, how am I supposed to get this out? What the heck? Yo, come out. Okay, that works. First thing I thought was going to, like, come out hard. Alright, you got instruction manual. Looking fancy. We've got a box. Ooh. What is this? Piece of paper. This is an instruction manual. Oh, that's a lot to read. A lot of read in tiny print. Screw you, I don't, I don't care anymore. Damn, that's a lot of wires. Look at all these wires for like multiple stuff. Um, What we got here? All right, let's see what we got. We got, oh. Uh, this seems to be for your phone, because you can't, you can plug these into your phones and stuff, so that's actually pretty boss, if I do say so myself, um, because these things work for, these are actually universal, I would do so believe, they work for PS3, Xbox, PC, and mobile devices, and no, I am not stretching my dick, I'm stretching my leg, perverts, um, so I do so believe that this wire is for mobile, this wire may also be for mobile, unless... Oh, these are oh, cause see if you if you look at these, this is actually pretty smart. I've never seen them do stuff like this. Oh, uh, as you can see, the comparison size, like this one is a lot skinnier than this one. So maybe maybe the reason for that is that some phone, some smartphones or phones in general, uh, taking different si taking different sizes. So some things do not work for others. Now, wow, this is. I can see this going like a long way. This is gonna be a pretty big distance that you could use them with. Uh anyways, uh what do we have here? Alright, that's the game core. We have two different holes here. <laughs> that's what she that well that's how they're supposed to be. Um we have one of these things right here. This is for this hole right here is for your headphones and the other hole is for I'm guessing the Xbox users since their controllers you need to plug in the wire with the controller so I'm guessing that's what that one's for. And then we also have a USB for your PC or PS3 and I keep on forgetting what these are I, I'm not sure what these are called optical cables something like that but yes this is for you to plug into your TV I believe for sound to come through and this is all wired for strength for length not strength and here we go moment we've all been waiting for our lovely skull candies Ooh. oh these things go hard that's what she said huh oh very cushiony these are probably the best cushions I have ever felt on a headset and these are these look pretty sick Sure, pretty sick. I, for some reason, I thought they'd be a bit more yellowish, but no. Wait, holy crap! Uh, uh I just gotta adjust mines. Uh, ooh. All right. Uh, is it even? I have this thing with my OCD where it's like it must be even. Now I do not think your ears could fully go in them, although it looks like that they can't expand enough inside for your ears to fit through, but as you can see, uh, let's give, let's give this one, as you can see, it's kind of hard, it looks like it'll be kind of difficult for you to fit your, um, ears through, now let me just put them on, oh no, you can't fit them in perfectly, okay, never mind, you can fit them in perfectly, oh, uh, they feel to be quite well, actually, I like them, just put it up now so you can fully see my face, my glorious face, ooh, 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 me likey. 
Me like you a lot, man. This is pretty awesome. Yo, these look these look boss beyond belief. I'm not gonna. Lie. I really love these. Um, it they do feel a little tight on me, which I I'm not complaining too much because at least it's very very cushiony, even though it is tight. Um, the way how they feel, they feel like they feel pretty pretty well built. They feel like they will not break too easily. Unlike the turtle beaches, because my my complaint on turtle beaches is that they feel too, you know, they feel too delicate. They feel like they too, feel way too fragile. These, on the other hand, they don't feel too fragile. They do feel a little, uh, they don't feel too too strong. Like I'm pretty sure if you dropped it a couple of times, it might do some damage. Not really sure, but it's not it's not to the point where it's like you feel terrified if you were just like Doo. I'm not gonna drop it because I just got these um but you feel like terrified if you just drop it with these you don't feel that way you feel like these things could take some drops can take some rages um over time but over time they do feel like they might like break a little now well, that's weird all right so one of the unique features about these is the mic. Now, the mic is kind of unique because of its muting feature. Now, if you check right here, we have the mic right here, and you could easily just pop it out. See that? Pop it out the mic, and that's, that way you could speak to your people on online. Now, the way how you mute it is simple. Just pop it back up. Pull it back up, and it's clearly muted. Now, I'm not sure if it's fully... Uh, oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Now, it's fully up. I think now it's fully up. So, now you are muted. And that is a pretty, pretty unique feature. Now, let me see which cable would probably go with this mic. Because right here, that's where you got to put one of these two. I, I believe it's this one, since this one's a lot thicker. That's what she said, uh, and he said, if he's boasting about his penis. Um, let's just see, pretty good, pretty good distance. I like that. I like that. Uh, let's stick it in there. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, this one definitely fits. Ooh, nice. All right. Oh, so I'm supposed to be wearing. I actually find it pretty interesting how the how the cord is actually in the back of the headphones and not up in the front like your like every like your other headphones so and actually an uh, interesting thing about this is like when you try to stretch it out you can feel the resistance so it just wants to come back like this so that's pretty interesting that's how that's how you know it's gonna feel tight on your head but not too tight all right so headphones are on and I do so believe this could be put. Yeah, I believe it's now hooked up to my phone. So. All right. Yes, it definitely works. This thing definitely works. I enjoy that. Um, let's see how loud these things can go. If I do not. Okay, let me put it right here. Just... Right now, let me try to cut these. Even though some sound, like even though I cannot cut them fully, um, wait. Nah. All right. Now the thing about these is, it is kind of hard to like blast these things without people hearing you. Uh, but you know, whatever. As long as you still enjoy it, let me see how it sounds full blast when you are listening to it. Okay, enough of that because I think I was pretty blurry on that. Well, now.
they do sound pretty awesome. They sound kind of, they sound pretty bassy, which is pretty good for me for somebody who loves listening to dubstep and hard style and house and all that kind of stuff. Bass is pretty good. I love it. Um, I think that's enough for today. Uh, well, at least for, for now. Um, I will be hooking up the rest of the stuff. Um, I think you guys already got the idea. If you guys have used headsets before, I believe you guys already know how headsets work, how you hook them up, and how to set it up with your console. So that's your never. Oh wait, what is this? Ah, this is one one last thing. Um, for here, this is the control thing. Oh, uh, and the buttons are actually pretty interesting. This whole button. Depending on which direction you put it and it does label like what's for what if you push it up my up um The volume will go up push it down volume will go down and Sorry the things in blue kind of ah, and then we have voice volume wait, what the hell? So, sorry for that so right is voice Left is game, and I'm curious. Wait, ooh, and we have more switches, but this this switch, uh, one, two. Oh, I think this thing has presets too. Interesting. Whoa, what is this? Okay, it's just nothing. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I do so believe that for the left and the right for the voice and game. I think you hit that one once, and when you do, it sets to that, and then you could change. That's when you change your volume, and then if you want to switch to the next one, you hit that side, and then you change it. If I am right about that, then that is freaking amazing. I like that idea. That is pretty unique. I've never actually seen that version done before. So, so far in the first look, the first look review. I give these things a solid 8, 8.5 out of 10. So let me know what you guys think from just the looks of these and from what I had from what I've been saying. And please put that in the comments down below. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, this has been your boy Second Heat. Make sure to come back to my channel later on tonight because there might be a chance if I get it done right that I'm gonna be posting up a very first live face cam let's play on the game metro i'm gonna be i mean uh actually i don't even know what i was gonna say after that <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video until next time this has been your boy taking heat and i'm out peace